Below normal, above normal to start the month. Obviously above normal yesterday with a high of 81, 51 only the high today. Overall, when you add it all up, Almost a degree and a half below normal uh, was the total for the month. It was quite rainy at times as well, especially over that Thanksgiving week. And when it was all said and done, we picked up over six inches of rain for the month. It was the set seventh wettest November on record. So December begins tomorrow, the start of meteorological winter. What does December hold for us? Well, it looks like it might be near normal, at least for most of North Texas potentially above normal for kind of the southern and western halves of Texas uh, as we head through December. Obviously our high temperature falls throughout the month as we continue to cool off through the uh, winter months here and our normal high by the end of the month is only 56. As far as rainfall is concerned, which is kind of a drier month for us anyway, we only get less than three inches of rain normally during the month of December. Looks like it'll be around near normal to maybe a little below normal across the western part of the uh, state there. A reminder, it is continues to be a La Nina winter for us, which usually favors warmer and drier conditions. We'll see what happens as we head through the remainder of the winter here. Temperatures overnight tonight, chilly night in store, down near freezing for some of you. 30s area wide for everybody. The good news is that wind chill will not really be a factor tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, another cool day, another below normal day. Highs in the low to mid to upper 50s, kind of depending on where you are. We'll start the morning with some high level cloud cover and then low level cloud cover will move in throughout the day. Overall, a mainly cloudy day tomorrow. Clouds will continue overnight tomorrow night and into Friday morning. Maybe a spotty shower or sprinkle overnight and into Friday morning across kind of the eastern half of North Texas. Clouds through midday Friday, but then sunshine quickly breaks out Friday afternoon and that should kind of spike a quick warm up in store for us. So we go from 54 on Thursday up to 70 on Friday, but then another front gives us a high of only 58 on Saturday, but it's back up to 72 on Monday, and then there's another front after that that I'll show you on the 10 day after this. Chilly and not as windy tonight, 35 for the low, and then tomorrow another cool day with that high of 54, yet again below normal as I just showed you. Above normal on Friday, Maybe a little below normal Saturday, around normal on Sunday, above normal Monday. You get the idea. We're going up and down, up and down, up and down. Next week, we got highs in the 50s from the middle half of the week onward, and there could be some rain around uh, most of next week. I'm not saying every single day is going to be a washout or anything like that, but each day has at least some rain chances in it.